Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In this video, I want to talk to you about your vendor list. First, a definition of vendor is someone that you buy from or a company you buy from. It might also be known as a supplier. To get to your vendor list, you'll go to the gray bar on the left-hand side of your screen. You'll go to expenses, and then in the pop-out menu, you'll select vendors. Vendors also appears at the menu at the top of your screen. So if you selected something else, such as expenses, you can just select vendors and it'll take you to your vendor list. So now you're at your vendor list. Across the top of the screen, you have a colorful ribbon, information about purchase orders, bills that are overdue that you need to pay, the total of the open bills you need to pay, and then payments you've made in the last 30 days. These are payments you've made by entering bills. Going down, I have my vendor list. And so the first column is my vendor or company. It's currently sorted in vendor order. I can tell because the little arrow is next to the word vendor. If I were to click on company, it'll be sorted in company order. I prefer it to be sorted in vendor order because it makes more sense for me. You can indicate if so you're tracking this vendor for 1099s. Even if you don't check this box, you can still issue them a 1099. To the right of that is the telephone, the email, and the open balance. The open balance is the amount of money you owe to your vendor. To the right of that, you have actions you can take, such as scheduling payments, creating a bill, or if you click the drop down, you can also create expense. If you wanted to add or subtract columns from what you see here or on your own screen, you would click on the little tiny gear to the right, and this will give you the ability to add or subtract columns. If you wanted to customize information about one of your vendors, or if you wanted to see the history of the transactions for your vendor, you would just click on their name. When you click on their name, you're gonna get two tabs. You're gonna get the transaction list. This is gonna show you your expenses and your bills and stuff of that nature. Or you can click on vendor details, and this will show you the details behind the scenes for your vendor. If you wanna edit any of your vendor details, you can do so by clicking edit in the upper right hand corner. So now I've got my company name, super duper sample vendor, and then my display name, 1099 sample vendor, the name to print on the checks, middle information that I chose not to add, my address information, any sort of notes. So maybe I wanna make a note here that says like, this vendor is really cool. So I, I make a note that says this vendor is really cool. Right now, there are no notes in the upper left-hand corner. Once I save this, the note will appear. Right there is my note. So th there's going to be various reasons that you might want to leave yourself notes. These are internal notes for you. You can add attachments. So maybe you have the W9 for your vendor. This would be a great spot to put it. Down here is the business ID or social security number for your vendor. This is the box that I selected to make it so that QuickBooks would track the payments for 1099s. Down here, I have more information, my cost rate, my billing rate, my default expense category. You can fill in as much or as little of this as you want. I just really want to show you what's here so you know about it so you can do whatever you want with it. The only fields that are mandatory are the fields with the asterisks. So in this case, it's the, the vendor display name. Let me go ahead and select save. A Couple of things that I can do before I let you go. I can print out my list if I wanted to print my vendor list, or I can export my vendor list to Excel. If you have vendors that you wanna add, maybe they're in a different program and you don't wanna add them all manually, I have a different video that shows you how to upload a vendor list from Excel into QuickBooks. If there's anything that my team or I can do for you, or if there's any videos you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.